welcome back to Five on Nine. Have you all had a good week? Fantastic, brilliant. I know some children are back at school. I know they went back a couple of weeks ago, but I hope you're all settling in and I bet it's really nice that you get to see your friends again. Anyway, this week on Five, we're going to be looking at Jesus healing the blind. Wow, isn't that fantastic? Just imagine seeing someone who can't see and then, then they can see. How amazing is that? Because Jesus cares and Jesus loves us so much. He wants to be in every part of our love, even when we're poorly. Even down to if I've got a headache or a little cut on my finger, Jesus wants to make us feel better. We've just got to believe. So, well, now we're going to go and do some singing and then we're going to, they're going to pass you on to do some story time. So I hope you have fun. So today's story is about how Jesus healed the blind man Bartimaeus. So Jesus went to a town called Jericho and he was walking through with his followers and a big crowd gathered and at the side of the road there was a blind man called Bartimaeus and he shouted out to Jesus and he said Jesus son of David please help me and there were some people in the crowd and they got upset with Bartimaeus and they told him to be quiet but Bartimaeus, he didn't listen to them and he continued to shout, Jesus, son of David, please have mercy on me and, and help me. And Jesus heard him and he said to the followers, go and get the man and bring him to me. So they went to Bartimaeus and they, they took him to Jesus and Jesus said, what is it that you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus said, I want to be able to see again 
And so Jesus said, go, you are healed because you have believed. And at once he could see again and he followed Jesus on the road. Today in the story, we've been learning about how Jesus cared for the blind man. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make some craft that you can maybe send to people that you care for, you love, to show them. So what we're going to need is some paper, we need a pencil, some felt tips or some, or some pencil crayons, some scissors, and if you want to, maybe some, then you've got some, some stickers that you can use to decorate as well. So a piece of paper we need to fold it in half and then we need a hand thank you so you need to put your hand with your thumb and your finger against the folded edge of the piece of paper and draw around your hand up at the bottom and then what we need to do is you need to cut it out but don't cut these bits on the side on the folded edge because they're very important so what we need to do is carefully cut out your handprint just like that got one here so we've cut it out we've kept these pieces here that are folded and then when you open it up, in the middle of your hand, there is the shape of a heart. Now what you can do, and what Joe's going to do now, is he's going to decorate it. And we've done some down here. We've put, I love you on this one, or Jesus cares for you, or we've got love and hugs on this one. You can write whatever you want. You can decorate them however you like. And then you can send them to people that you love and you care for. Maybe some of you haven't seen your nan and granddad for a long time or other members of your family or friends. And they would really appreciate maybe you sending them something like this just so that they would know that you love them. So Joe's done this one quickly. I love you. Okay. Have fun. Bye. And now it's time for the game. So today's story was all about a man called Bartimaeus. And as you know, Bartimaeus, he couldn't see. And people who can't see means they have to rely more on their hearing. So today's game, we're going to see how good you are at listening. I'm going to play you some sound effects and you've got to guess where what those sounds are okay so as soon as you know what the sound effect is just type it in the chat box and we'll see how many you can get right so this is the first one like wow. sounds like a snake it's not a snake Let's hear it again once more Okay, so if you know what it is, type it in the chat box. And it is a balloon. With an air in. Yeah, that's right. It's the balloon and we're letting the air out of it. Okay, so here's the next one. Okay, don't tell anybody what it is yet. So Art is giving a clue. What is that one? Okay. What do you think it is? Brushing their teeth, that one. 
that yet. So hopefully you got that one. Okay, now here's the next one. Okay, don't tell anybody what this one is yet. This one's a nice easy one. Did you get that one? Let me hear it again. I, I, I get it. What is it? A bell. Yeah, I'm it's a can. bell. Now, if you said bell, you get a point. If you said church bell, then you get two points because it's actually a church bell. Right, it's now here bell. is a real hard one. Okay, can you hear that? Oh. What does that sound like? A bird. A bird? Yeah. Arch thinks it sounds like a bird. But birds normally do that. But actually, a bird. It's not a bird. It's a fish. It's a dolphin. It's a so well done if you got a dolphin. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, don't tell anybody what this one is. Oh. Anybody get that one? Don't tell anybody what that one is. Don't tell anybody. And that one is a drinks can be opened and poured. So that's what that noise is. Okay then, now here's the next one. Okay. Anybody know what that one is? Oh, Archie's giving me a clue, Yeah. Okay, tell everybody what it is. It is, what is it? Somebody it's shaving their hair. Yeah, it's some hair clippers. Okay, so well done if you got that one right. Now let's try the next one. Oh, this one's a difficult one. Can you give a clue? Okay, so imagine you're holding something over a fire. Anybody guess what it is? Can mm. I get the chat box? Mm. It's a... Something cooking it. Something cooking yet? Yeah, it's a frying pan. So, frying well done if you got that one. It's a frying pan. Frying pan. Okay, here's the next one. Anybody get that one? Anybody get that one? We've got some text. Yeah. Anybody get that one? That's a golf golf I swing. I didn't even so somebody hear hitting it. a golf ball. Well done if you got that one. I don't hear it. Don't worry. We'll go to the next one. Anybody get that one? Yes. Okay. If you know what it is, put it in the chat box. It is a. Oh, nearly. Not a aeroplane, but it's actually a helicopter. So well done if you got that one. Okay, and don't tell anybody what this one is. Anybody know? Anybody get that one? It's a dog. Oh, you think Archie thinks it's a dog. It's not a dog. It's a... It's a pig. It's a pig. Yeah, well done Pigs if you got that one. Pigs do that. Here's the next one. Okay. Oh, that was an easy one. Is Anybody it? get that one? Uh, okay, I'll give a you a chance to type it in. Dog. No, it's not a dog. It, Archie thinks they're all dogs. But no, that was a saw. So, that was somebody sawing some wood. Okay, here's the next one. Oh, come on. That it's one's an easy sheep. one. What do we think that one is? It's, it was a sheep. It was a sheep, yeah. Are you tell them too quick. Okay, let's try the next one, okay? <coughs> oh, does anybody know what that one is? Don't tell anybody. Oh, what's, oh, what's that, that one? Okay, no. don't tell. What's the answer? It's a sheep. No, that one wasn't the sheep. What's this one? Wait, it's a sneeze. Sneeze, well done. That was a sneeze, well done. <coughs> so well done if you got that one. Here's the next one. <laughs> Oh, that was that, that one. Was, what was that? Don't that, tell anybody just yet. Oh, give him a chance to type it in. And go in. What's the answer? Uh, it was a thunder. Thunder, yeah, thunder in the sky. Here's another one. I'm sure you've all heard this one before. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Oh. Okay, give him a chance to get it. 
Okay, have you typed it in yet? Okay, yeah. so we give the answer. What's the answer? It's the somebody, it was somebody turned, turned the push in the toilet. Talk push in the toilet, flush. That's right. So it's somebody flush in the toilet. And the last one now is... <coughs> anybody? What's this one? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Hopefully you got that one before Archie gives the answer away. So, well done if you got any of those right. Um, yeah, I'm sure you did. Uh, see you all soon. We're on to the next activity now. Uh, Shall we say goodbye then? Shall we say bye? Bye. bye. See you all soon. story we learn that God cares for everyone no matter who they are even if it seems as though other people have ignored them or forgotten them. Have you ever felt like that? Perhaps when you're asked to get in twos you're always the last one left over at the end or you're the last person to be picked for the football team. Isn't it great to know that God still cares and God hasn't forgotten you even when people have? Perhaps you can think of somebody that seems to be forgotten or ignored. Wouldn't it be great if this week you took time to pray for them? 
or maybe even to chat to them and make friends with them. What a great way to show the love of God. Perhaps you can think of a group of people in society that you'd like to pray for. People that are often forgotten or ignored or looked down upon. Maybe the sick or those that are poor or the unemployed or the homeless. God cares about each and every one of us. Perhaps you know of someone that's not well. In the story of blind Bartimaeus, we see that Jesus can heal people. No wonder Bartimaeus was skipping and dancing when he was made well again. Perhaps you'd like to pray for someone today that needs to move made better again. Jesus can do that. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you care for every single one of us, that we are not forgotten. In fact, you say that you've written our names in the palm of your hand. God, we pray for those today that might be feeling lonely or forgotten or ignored. And we pray that you'll help us to find ways to share the love of God with them. We pray especially for those right now that are sick, people that we might know and also people up and down our land that are sick in hospital beds. We pray that you'll touch them and make them well again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for coming to Thrive. Have a great week and I hope to see you soon.